When Hurricane Sandy hit the US coast, it was disastrous, but it could have been far worse if weather scientists had not predicted the path of the storm and the point at which it would hit several days before. Update on Hurricane Sandy, very impressive storm. The National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Agency, NOAA, says this will no longer be the case if bandwidth in space is sold off to 5G companies. The reason? NOAA says sensors on satellites that measure crucial indicators like water vapor are being compromised by the signals from 5G providers in a shared bandwidth. There is genuine concern here that as 5G is deployed and it interferes with those uh, atmospheric signals that we're trying to detect with the weather satellites that we will not be able to provide the same quality and reliability of forecast that we have currently. But the FCC and the 5G industry denies there would be any interference. A wireless industry representative Brad Gillen said in a blog post, it's an absurd claim with no science behind it. He maintained that NOAA's claim relies on the study of a microwave sensor that never went into use. Not so, insists the scientists. Well, I can tell you that there's many scientists at NOAA, NASA, and outside of the government that have looked at this, and uh, also our international colleagues, and determined that there is a serious threat here and that the science must be considered or we do risk losing our prediction skill for major storms that would impact society. The updated sensors also improve research into climate change factors, a critical study given the unprecedented increase in extreme weather conditions, ranging from intense drought to unseasonal storms. But this argument is rejected by influential figures in the administration who are climate change skeptics, including the president himself. Officials from the U.S. State Department are attempting to bring the two sides closer together. A unified position is critical, as a meeting of world spectrum regulators is due to take place later this year. But the scientists are hoping that the conflict will be resolved by an international convention that would deny 5G operators access to the same bandwidth as the weather sensors. In a month that's seen a series of tornadoes strike U.S. states, the fear of scientists is that the Trump administration may be reluctant to sign any more international agreements and will side with those intent on securing a revenue stream from 5G providers rather than those attempting to predict the next economically crippling threat from the weather. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.